Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nate. This is part two of the DCS Mirage weapons deployment and HUD slash radar display modes. Uh, apologies if it's in a weird format that it that split the two. It really should be one, but the first video was just getting too long, and I think people would have lost interest by the end of the video. So I split into two little parts. Um, the beginning of this, I want to cover something I forgot in the last video, which is how to lock and unlock targets on the radar. I kind of glossed over it, so I want to go over that. And then I'll go into the four different close combat modes that the Mirage has, two of which are exclusive to the Magic 2 and the other two which are magic and super 530 capable and i'll also talk about how to use the magic missile as well um, the first thing i want to do, go through though is the controls so these are the bindings you will need um, i see a lot of people on the forums have problems trying to find it because uh, as i said in the last video these have either been renamed or the functions have been remapped or the procedures have changed so you will need to bind at least these keys weapon systems command forward weapon systems command aft Weapon Systems Command Depress, CNM Neutral, CNM Magic. Uh, the rest of it I'll explain in the video and the, the, their purposes will become apparent. So let's look into the first scenario. The first thing I want to talk about, uh, which I left out in the last lesson, is how to lock and unlock things. So we have an A20, sorry, Christian, an A50 ahead of us. To lock things up, as covered before, move your TCC onto the target on the radar display. Toggle STT lock to lock it up. Lock it once for TWS, lock it twice for STT. To unlock the target, you simply put weapon command depress and it unlocks. So that's fairly simple. So the first mode we're going to look at is using the magic without the assistance of radar. Let's unpause and try and engage that A50 ahead of us. There's the A50. You are no longer able to select the magic missile off the PCA panel. You now have to push C and M magic to select the magic missile. So let's push that now. We can positively identify that we have the magic missile selected by seeing the magic on the hard display there. The little cross there is the magic scanning zone for its secret head. We need to bring that to the target. So that has a scan zone of a few degrees by a few degrees. So as we get closer, it should snap a lock. There we have a lock. It's worth noting that the magic missile doesn't give you any range indication, and it is very difficult to spot and bring the cross over, especially in a dogfight, perhaps down low. So this is ideally not a mode that I would use, and I would use one of the radar assisted controls. To unlock the magic, simply press C and M neutral. That brings the magic missile off the HUD, and to deselect the magic, breaks the lock. Given that DCS's spotting is tricky at best, it is possible to use the radar to assist in magic acquiring the lock on the target. Uh, it does this by using the radar signature to tell the magic seeker where, where to look. So there are two modes which are exclusive to the magic missile. That is the vertical scan mode and the boresight mode. Let's unpause and have a look at how we use those. So as before, C and M magic to select. Once the magic missile is selected, we can use weapon system command forward to cycle through the modes. This is the vertical scan mode. This scans a scan zone of 60 degrees vertical and three degrees left and right. So that's 60 degrees, six zero degrees, in the horizontal and three degrees total for the left and right. It is ideal for turn fighting and trying to get locks while the aircraft is at a very high bank angle. So the target is just in the distance over there. If I roll the aircraft over, nose over, we get lock immediately. So very ideal for a close range dogfight where both aircraft are turning in the horizontal axes. Let's unlock that for just a second. The second mode, which is a little bit less practical and akin to the Magic's own Boresight mode, is uh, Boresight mode. So we select the Magic, cycle through Weapon System Command Forward twice. This gives you a 3 degree by 3 degree cone for the radar to beam to assist the Magic missile to lock a target. Note the triangle denoting a radar assisted magic lock with range on the bottom. The boresight mode is probably as useful as using the 
magic without a radar assistance, and in my opinion, you're better off with the vertical scan mode. The last two close combat modes are available to be used by the Magic and the Super 530. These are the BA2 and BAH scan modes. It is a horizontal scan of 30 degrees and 3 degree scan in the, in the vertical. Given that its vertical is very narrow, it is best used when the target is dead ahead, co altitude, or very similar altitude. So let we, let's lock, try and lock that A50 ahead of us. We're going to try it with a Super 530 because uh, we've already seen how to use it in the Magic. Super 530 is armed. So, Weapon System Command Aft brings in the BA2 mode and the BAH. These, as I said before, both scan identical in a 30 degrees horizontal and 3 degrees in the vertical. The difference being BAH and BA2 is that BAH scans in a high frequency and BA2 scans in a medium pulse repetition frequency. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, the BA2, uh, H mode is the one you want to be scanning targets due to its high repetition frequency. So as you can see, that's the scan line there, 30 degrees in the horizontal, 30 degrees in the vertical. So if we nose down and try and seek our BA, our A20 friend there, notice that even though we are very similar altitude, it is not picking it up. You really have to pitch your nose up to very similar to get that three degree cone. Once we've locked them up, always remember to use the IFF, check friend of foe. That hasn't come back with the diamond, that is a hostile. It's on PIC, which means it's on STT. Weapons away. And that's it. Those four modes will be very handy for the Mirage in a dogfight. It allows you to quickly select the modes that you require to try and acquire an enemy as soon as possible without the hassle of trying to find a dot in the distance. Uh, these modes, of course, are close combat modes, so they are best used within about, I would say, 15 to maybe 12 nautical miles. Uh, you might get something beyond that, but... Uh, a little bit sketchy there on the on the numbers itself, but I've only ever really used them up close. Anyways, I'm going to finish off this A20, uh, A50. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask, and uh, I'll try my best to answer them. Until next time, you guys have a good day.